Hello, this is Damian Katz, Villanova University's lead developer on the Open Source ViewFind project. ViewFind is part of a family of programs known as library discovery tools, whose goal, simply put, is to provide library catalogs for the Google age. While many traditional library products provide outdated and slow searching, ViewFind uses the same technologies that web users have come to expect to provide an intuitive and fast search experience. ViewFind also doesn't limit itself simply to the library catalog. It also aims to provide access to other library resources all through the single, familiar, easy-to-use interface. Uh, currently, ViewFind supports, in addition to the standard library catalog, things like OCLC's WorldCat for results from other libraries and Serial Solutions Summon for bringing in full-text articles. ViewFind is built using Apache Solar, a popular search engine which is found in many library discovery tools and other widely used web products like Netflix. It also connects to your ILS so you can get live status information on what books are checked out and information on the user's account. Why open source? Well, for one thing, it's free. You don't have to pay for the software. Although you may need to spend some money on support staff to help support it locally, you'll find that it pays off in the long run because it's very easy to make local customizations to both the interface and the behavior of search. And there's also a strong online community of other ViewFind users who are happy to help answer questions and share their local code. This slide shows the front page of ViewFind. Uh, ViewFind out of the box comes with the searches you see here, but it's very easy to change the indexing rules and search behavior to add whatever local searches uh, your institution needs. After you perform a search, you get a screen that looks much like this one. And one of the key features of ViewFind is that it offers faceted searches, uh, showing trends in the result set and allowing users to narrow down their search simply by clicking. Uh, this exposes a lot of your useful library metadata without requiring your users to know about how it is structured in advance. They just do a simple Google-like search and then they can navigate through the results as they need. ViewFind also includes an experimental browse interface, shown here, uh, which offers an interesting way of combining things like authors, genres, and topics to explore your collection. Uh, coming in the next release is also a more traditional alphabetical heading browse uh, that may be familiar to you if you've used older library systems. Uh, this slide shows you a result screen in ViewFind for Nicholas Nickleby. And you'll notice that one of the powerful uh, features of ViewFind when viewing records is a list of similar items, which provides some of the same serendipity usually found by going to the shelf. Uh, the similarity in ViewFind is configurable. Uh, by default, it's based on things like subject headings and call numbers. So it's really quite powerful in leading uh, users to resources like the ones they found in their searches. Additionally, ViewFind has several Web 2.0 features, uh, Web 2.0 being a fun buzzword that can mean just about anything, uh, but in this case, meaning we talk to other websites to bring in additional information. This example shows us using WorldCat's API to find other editions of the book. Uh, other external sources that we use for content can provide things like book covers and reviews, uh, this example shows Amazon covers and reviews added to an article. You can also get things from Syndetix, Google Books, and several other sources. Though, of course, it's important to mention that before using these external content uh, sources, you should check the terms of service and make sure that you're using them appropriately, as some have fairly strict requirements for use. Uh, another Web 2.0 feature is the social element of ViewFind. Users are able to add tags to records and create lists of favorites which they can keep private or share with others. Uh, this is popular for instructors who want to assign course readings in a simple way, but there are lots of different uh, possible uses for these social elements of the software. Additionally, all pages in ViewFind, both search results and records, are bookmarkable. Uh, many older library systems use limited time sessions, so even though you can find things, you can't necessarily get back to them later. With persistent URLs, you can conveniently link to things from other pages, which is very useful when building course guides or sending out emails about new acquisitions. 
Viewfind also offers a simple mobile interface. It will detect when it's being accessed uh, from a phone or other portable device and present uh, different screens so that it's displayed more appropriately. Uh, you can customize every aspect of Viewfind, uh, both the mobile as uh, mobile theme and the regular theme, or you can decide not to use the mobile theme at all if you don't wish to. There are several things coming in the development of Viewfind. Uh, one important detail is consortial features. Right now there are many library consortia which use Viewfind, uh, but consortial support is not built into the base package and we would like it to be simpler to get things up and running. Additionally, we're looking into making better use of library authority data, things like subject headings, authoritative names, and cross-references to help users discover more, again, without having to understand all of the underpinnings of library science. And of course, your feature here. Since this is an open source project, you can contribute to the development or make requests of the community, and we'll do our best to help you get what you need out of the software. Ready for more? You can try a demo at viewfind.org slash demo. You can learn more, including reading documentation and seeing a list of libraries currently using Viewfind at the base viewfind.org site. And we love to hear from people with questions. You can join several of our mailing lists at viewfind.org slash support.php. I look forward to hearing from you.